So today's video, I want to talk about trying to get that kick to sound a little more louder when you're sent an instrumental or you're working with a file that simply the kick is not very powerful. And today's video, I want to see if we can make it possible. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and press play to let you hear what is going on now. Okay, so me, you know, I don't feel like the kick is kind of giving it justice. I want to be able to hear a little more louder kick. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Maximus. And then what I'm going to do is first thing, I turn off the master on here. I don't want the master on there as, as far as right now. I'm going to go to the mid band. And then I'm going to push this down. Let's just say around here. And I'm going to try to get the kick area, kind of where the frequencies are hitting. I want it to sound a little more snappy. I already had the bass going on. Let me go ahead and just solo this real quick. So as you can see, the input level here. And so let's give this a try real quick. I'm going to put a point here, and I'm going to raise this area up. Let me go ahead and blend this in. Let's do a before and then an after. Instantly, you can hear that kick jump up, so this is good. The goal, though, is selecting the frequency range where it's not going to really affect the melody and it's not going to affect the lower bass too much. So this is very... Uh, you got to fine-tune this kind of stuff. So let me go ahead. I'm going to open up a Fruity Soft Clipter because I want that kick to be a little more punchier. Dial it down a little bit, or turn it up, should I say. I don't want so much soft clip, now. I want more of a harder clip. And so, if you look on the master here, I'm going to turn this back on, but I'm going to show you exactly kind of what's going on. The signal of the kick is going to be louder. If I turn this off, go back to here. You see there's like no kick in there now. Turn this on. And so basically the soft clipper is going to limit it back to 0 dB. We're just going to start rolling it off right at uh, one, negative 1 1.4 dB. It's going to kind of curve that and give it a little more punchier. Now for, you probably don't want to go this extreme. I'm going to do it anyways. Let me see if I can get that punch to be a little more snappier. Let's go ahead and solo this. before and after. Now you're giving that kick a little more saturation on that. It kind of helps it to bring it out in the mix a little bit. And so basically, of course, you want to play around with the frequency to see if you can make it sound a little more smoother.
you didn't really want to use a soft clipper in order to kind of give it a little more distortion edge on a kick, I would just recommend turn it back on and then eliminating this down. So the kick should still be there a lot louder, but now you're using that Rhino kind of compressor to knock the peaks down so it doesn't go past a certain threshold. Before, after. So this is really good, you guys, if you ever wanted to, you know, boost up that kick a little more, even making it snappier using the Fruity Soft Clipper. I have been sent instrumentals in the past, so I'm just like, there's no kick in this. What in the world? Uh, just remember that anytime you kind of split the band and upper it, you got to remember about the other frequencies and the other areas, because sometimes it's not going to sound good. And for an example, let's just say I did this. I'm going to turn the compressor off here, turn it. You're going to start messing with the melody side. You know, it's going to sound kind of not as good. See how it sounds wobbly in those upper frequencies and so forth. Alright, this is just a quick demonstration of uh, what I wanted to do. Listen to the video, check it out. Again, thank you for watching.